Hello and welcome down onto the Tech Desk. And in today's video, we've got a really, really new controller. So this isn't released yet, and it's gonna be released on Kickstarter. If you wanna go and have a look, I'll leave links down below. And I've been using this now for a couple of weeks, and I've repackaged it up because I wanted to show you the box, because there's a few things about this. Uh, this is a controller for Windows, iOS, Android, uh, Switch, uh, and we're gonna be predominantly doing it on the Switch today just because I can show you lots of its features. But if you've got it and you want it to use only one of those systems, go for your life. So this is from PB Tails. Now we've already done a video on a PB Tails controller. Really cool. Some cool stuff coming out from these guys. And this is no exception, this is really cool. Um, a lot to love, but just, just a couple of things that I will be mentioning in this just before you go and back it, you might wanna have a look at. Okay, so this is called the Azurite Now Crush. Okay, so there are, I found a couple of racing car theme type things to do with this, okay? It's not a racing car themed controller, but there's a couple of things. But the first thing I thought it was a bit loose is Rush, okay? There's a film about for F1, that's about Rush. Is that a bit loose? I don't know, you tell, you let me know down in the comments below. Okay, so it's in the Azerite color, which is the blue color. And I've got a few more uh, face plates here to show you. Some more things on the box then. On the side, we've got Switch, Windows, uh, Android, iOS. Uh, what, what's, what you get in the box, you get the crush, the pouch, the cable, which we'll talk about in a second. But here's the one thing, um, it's annoyed me a little bit. Okay, so we've got on here, uh, be bold, be you, be bold, be you, be bold, be you. All over this, be bold, be you. And um, they've decided to put that phrase onto the box. Um, it, I know it's probably a, just a translation thing or just an error, but that's just sloppy. Be blod, be you. Um, I'm hoping that when they come, it will be right, but that, that annoyed me a little bit. Be blod, be you, rather than be bold, be you. Hey, hey oh. Oh well. Like I said, I wanted to box it up because I think it looks quite cool. So what you do, look, you slide that off and you've got the uh, box there and like the outer casing there, which is really smart. So on the front then, I've got a little picture of it there. And on the back, a little bit about it and kind of like almost like an instruction manual on how to do it on how because there's some uh, cool lights on here which is kind of like the main selling point for this one uh, but we'll, we'll talk about we'll talk about that as I said so crush so that was your first kind of like car inspired theme open it up here's your next one so it comes in this really nice case I mean this case is superb if you've got um, an Xbox Elite controller this case is definitely on par with that Admittedly, it hasn't got the extra little bits in it that the Xbox has, but in terms of feel and quality, really does. Um, nice inside box. Can you see why I'm showing you the box now? Really nice stuff inside. And then we have like a little PB Tails card, which is the same shape as the other controller that we've looked at on the channel. Right, so here's the case then, and we said it's got the kind of like the checkered flag for the racing. PB Tails, company that makes it. And then we have this, which is the zip, which has the Nürburgring zip on it and again another nod to cars slash racing okay and then we open it up and there we have the controller inside a very nice this blue is stunning this is a lovely color blue and this looks incredible okay and then at the back here you've got this mesh which i've just stuck this you get this you get this um USB Type-C cable with it, which is branded with PB Tails. You get that with it. I don't have one because I have one plugged in there. I save these for Sunday Best, as I do with all of them. But you could fit some stuff in there. There's a good two or three centimeter gap there. Loads of cables. Definitely a uh, one of the Apple pin chargers that folds flat uh, for the UK. The US, you could probably fit in something in there, but the UK, our plugs are massively sticking out. So it'd have to be a fold away one. And then we have a nice interior to there. Decent protection. I think this case is brilliant. I was very, very pleased when I opened it up and I got this case. I wasn't expecting it. Love it. So that's the case. So the controller itself, let's go over it then. So we have the face buttons. We've got the asymmetrical design on the two thumbsticks with D-pad, uh, plus and minus home T, which is like your function button. And then we have the screenshot X, Y, A, and B in this configuration, the A over here and the B, X, and Y. And then we have the triggers. So the top ones, the bumpers are digital and these are analog. On the top, USB Type-C, uh, we have the pairing button and we have the S and the X, so that would be for switch. And then flicking it over, if you were to do for Windows, you'd flick it over to the X to pair it. But we're gonna keep it onto the S because we're gonna be doing it on the Nintendo Switch. And then on the back, really nice and smooth. Okay, this is the one thing that I think missed a trick here. 
there are no paddles, okay? If you want a controller that has paddles, then this probably isn't gonna be for you. None, it's completely smooth. On the plus, plus side of that, it feels great. I mean, when you wrap your hands around it, there's no paddles on the back, so you can really get a good grip on it. It's so comfy. I mean, when I first picked it out, I was like, wow, it's super smooth all the way around. Really comfy. There's no grippy texture in here, which again, some people like, some people don't like, but I'd like to have seen a bit of a grip on here, but the, the shape on it just feels great in the hand, this controller, really does. A few technical pieces about it, Hall Effect triggers and Hall Effect sensors on, on here, on these sticks. We'll do a, a dead zone test later but these feel good. So the controllers here, they're, if I can show you this, they're like rubber all the way around, very tactile, so you really get a good grip on them, okay? So if I just like slightly grip it, you can see it gripping my finger there. So it's a really nice grippy thumbsticks. And the buttons here, they're, they're quite clicky. They do go flush, these five here, they do go flush with the, with the controller and they're down there. And the D-pad, yeah, I understand the D-pad is a personal preference, but I've not had an issue with this, so left, right, up and down. A satisfying click doesn't go in too far. If I can show you this. Like so. And then we have the A, B, X and Y. Uh, they go slightly flush, if that makes sense. So press it and you've got the dome part of the button that stays above the uh, faceplate here. Okay, and there they fulfill, right? If you've ever had a 30 pod controller or even an official controller, you'll know what it feels like. It's not clicky or mechanical. It just feels like any regular button. And again, with these. So another thing I wanted to point out that's really good about these is when you get a third party controller and you click in the thumbsticks, it sounds very, very hollow. And you think, mm, I'm not sure about this. These don't sound hollow, it feels solid. Okay, so when you're clicking it in, it feels like a solid controller, which again, which is another plus for this. And then also another feature of this are the lights. So again, this is one of the racing things. It actually quotes this, that this part here is to look like the iconic Porsche 911 tail light. Okay, so this bit here. So when we turn it on, so let's turn it on. I've got my switch over there that it's connected to. So it's connected, see it vibrating there, so it's connected. You can see that it lights up there. So we've got a blue light. If I actually knock these lights off, you'll be able to see that a bit better. So we have a blue light there. And then on the top, again, if I just connect this to my switch. There we go. So we have this there, the home button lights up and the X, Y, A and B lights up really bright. So while I'm here, I would just quickly ping through how you change these lights. So we have the T button up here, which is also turbo, if you want to do turbo. You can hold down the T and then you do this left stick. So you do this left stick and the light down here changes. So you can be kind of rotate it all around and just pick the light that you want. Let's keep it on green or light blue as I've got it now. And then hold down the T and this stick and this will change these. So we do these and we can change these to whichever color we want. Uh, we'll keep it on got like white there so we have this white now and we have like a light blue and you think oh that's that's all well and good uh, I want to make it a little bit uh, dimmer so you hold down T and you press the minus button and it goes a bit dimmer and then you press the plus key and it goes brighter okay can you see that and you turn it off if you want to I have it on the brightest and then just as kind of like a default settings, if you hold T and press the D-pad in certain directions, it will change to different colors. Okay, so kind of like these are presets for the, for the mixed colors there. But we'll have uh, A and like that, Y on yellow, green X, like so. So there we go, there's some light functions for you to be able to change the different lights on the controller. So in terms of features, you've got your standard features. It does um, motion, it has rumble. It's not HD rumble, but it's good enough. As with most third party controllers, I'm probably thinking they've all got the same system. It, it's good enough, but it's not gonna be like HD rumble that like you're gonna get off like a pro controller. Um, and then it also has turbo as well, which I've talked about. So you hold down turbo, one of these buttons, and then it will rapidly fire it for you. Um, the battery's good enough for me. Um, it takes two hours, it says, to charge it, but I've not done any scientific testing, but it seems to be good enough for me. It lasted a couple of days, playing session even. So it's good enough, really, for, for what you want to be able to do. And then another really cool feature, uh, we're going to be talking about these now, is these mag 
plates here. So these come off, okay? So this comes off and it has a bunch of magnets on there which stick to this controller. And then while we're here, if we just ping this off, there's the thumbstick in there for you. I assume you're gonna be able to buy some more of these. Um, I haven't seen that or any for sale, but I assume you will be able to at some point. And then let's go through some other different ones. So I've got sent these as well. So this is the red one. Again, a lovely color red. They've nailed these colors. This blue is stunning. This red is great. Right, that takes your fancy. Uh, let's go for this one. This one is, again, an absolute beauty of a case. A gloss white. Look at that. Stunning. Stunning. And then this one, this last one, is a little bit different. Uh, we're going to talk about this for a while because it's metal, okay? All of it is metal, quite heavy, and we're going to stick it on the scales in a second. So put it on there like so. You've got yourself, what? What? Quite a heavy controller. Right, let's give them scales. Okay, so there we go. So one of these cases itself, 36 grams. I assume all of these are going to be 30, or well, 38 grams. 40 grams, okay, so this scales aren't great. So around 38, 40 grams for all of those. This one, 120, okay. So let's put, let's take for example, my, let's go for my favorite one. Now we're gonna be using the white one, okay. This is probably the one I'm going to be using the most. Get it on, 260, okay, remember that, 260 grams. Three hundred and forty-five grams. Okay, so nearly a hundred grams more with this one. Oh, it's a beast! I tell you, what, it's it's not unplayable though with this weight. Not unplayable at all. And if I give you some sort of context, this is my official Pro controller. Admittedly, I've modelled it and I've got these, so it's going to be a little bit heavier. Two hundred and sixty. So again, nearly a hundred grams. It will be definitely be because of the extras here. A hundred grams heavier this one with the metallic and you can really feel it. I tell you what, I, I wouldn't have a problem using this one though. I really wouldn't, if that's what you like. It's just a little bit unique and a little bit different, isn't it? Right, so let's go back to the blue one. There we go, we've got the blue one and we'll leave these out here. Uh, what we're gonna do now is when you pair it to the switch, as I have already done, um, you just need to go into this menu here and then you do change grip order. Uh, and then you hold down the pair button and it just pairs with that. It's a very, very, very simple process. And put this up here. What we're gonna do is just go you through some of the settings just to show you. I won't, I won't bore you with the, 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 um, the buttons too much. Uh, so up, down, left, right and left, A and B, bumpers, triggers. Yeah, great, whatever. Uh, more interested in the sticks because these are Hall Effect sticks so they should be really, really good. Um, as I said before, I've had no problems with this using this for the past um, a couple of weeks. So moving it out, we've hit the edge now. Now there's, gosh, hang on. I mean, half a millimeter on the outside there. So if I go all the way around, you'll see there's no stopping on anything there. Nothing there. Down, left, up, right. And then if I try and do my, without that. Okay, so there's zero dead zones on the outside. When you hit the outside, that's it. And then hardly anything on the inside. So hardly any dead zones on this really. So let's go, let's just check the other, just check the other one. Okay, again, if I start moving it. Okay, so it goes off after about a millimeter or two, not even that. And then we hit the edge now. Okay, so that was look at the, the PB Tails Crush controller. Um, a lot going for it. It's brilliantly comfy. Um, it's been working flawless for me. All the buttons, all the sticks, the D-pad, everything easy to connect. It looks brilliant. The lights are a nice addition. Um, I think this is fantastic, but you've got to take into consideration the fact that there's no grippy texture on here and there are no paddles on there, okay? So you won't be able to be using assignable paddles on the back. It is literally just a controller. But as far as controllers go, the amount of controllers that come out onto the market that just 
I just think this one has separated itself because of these face plates and the lights to a certain extent, but everything else it do solidly with the Hall effect sensors and stuff. Okay, go and have a look at it then. It's well worth a look up this one. I'm really pleased with this. Uh, as I said, it's on Kickstarter, so go and have a look and have a, you can go and back it. Uh, especially with the addition of this case and stuff. Yeah, really good, really nice controller, pleased with that. So do have a look. Right, okay, that was everything then. Got any questions, let me know. Please do like, please do subscribe to the next video. Bye-bye.